Welcome to the chapter Our Food. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Food. Abhi, what are your favorite food items? Sir, I like laddu, chicken biryani, idli sambar, puri and potato curry. Okay, daily we eat different types of food materials but some food items like rice, dal, vegetables and curd are common in major parts of Andhra Pradesh. But on special occasions, we eat a variety of food items. Do you know about the components and their sources of food and how they are cooked? No, sir. Okay. It may be difficult to you to answer because generally we are interested in eating food rather than about other things such as the material we need to prepare potato curry or brinjal curry. Though we take food for our health and energy, it is also important to know the materials required for the preparation of the food which we eat. So, now, let us discuss the ingredients, processing and sources of food in detail. Food Ingredients Materials required to prepare different kinds of food items are termed as ingredients. In order to prepare a dish, two or more than two ingredients are needed. Example 1. To prepare boiled rice, rice and water are used. Thus, rice and water are said to be the ingredients for boiled rice. Example 2. When you purchase the packed items like food, biscuits, chocolates or any soft drink, then you will find their ingredients mentioned on their packets. Joseph, do you know from where these ingredients come? Yes, sir. We obtain vegetables and fruits from plants, whereas eggs, milk and meat from animals. Okay, good Joseph. Now, Perform a drag and drop activity for the ingredients listed. Find out the source of each ingredient. If it is a plant, mark P, or an animal, A, or something else, E. Okay, sir. Identifying sources of food. Click on the correct circle for the respective sources of ingredients. If it is a plant, Click on the circle corresponding to P or if it is an animal. Generally, we obtain honey from honeybees. There are a number of animals from which we get different types of food. We get meat from sheep and goat. Hens and roosters are used as meat or chicken. Eggs are obtained mostly from hens. We obtain different food items from plants. We eat different parts of plants like leaf of spinach, cabbage and coriander plant, fruits of tomato and drumstick plant, flower of cauliflower. Table salt is a mineral which is obtained from the sea. We obtain cooking oil from plants such as sunflower, groundnut etc. We obtain sugar from stem of the sugarcane plant. Dear students, we already learned that several ingredients are required in order to prepare different varieties of food. Whatever may be the source of ingredients like plants, animals or minerals, while preparing food, some materials are needed in huge quantities and others in small quantities. Do you know why is it so? No, sir. Could you please explain us? Generally, people living in one region have common food habit. For example, 
we produce more rice because our state geographical and climatic conditions are more suitable for the growth of rice. Variety of food items can be prepared by using rice. People of Andhra Pradesh eat more rice and rice products when compared to other cereals like wheat, maize, jowar and bajra. In Rajasthan, maize, bajra and wheat are produced in larger quantities when compared to rice. Thus, the main food in Rajasthan is roti or chapati. Sometimes, we hear from people saying that I like this food and I don't like that food. This is not a good habit. We need to eat all varieties of vegetable food items, low-fat or non-fat dairy products, healthy snacks such as fruits and vegetables and whole breads and cereals. This makes us strong and energetic. Now, let us study about the different methods of preparing food. Preparing or cooking food is not so easy. It is an important art. It is essential for life. In ancient times, the early men used to eat only raw food. But once a piece of meat had unfortunately fallen into the fire and got roasted, the ancient man had tasted this piece of roasted meat and liked it. Thus began the process of cooking food. Basically, we cook food for the following reasons. Cooking makes food easy to digest. Cooking makes food safe. Cooking improves the appearance, flavor, color and taste of the food. There are many ways of preparing food. There are variety of food items like roti, chapati, puri, rice, pulses, salad, butter, fruits, pickles, idli, vada, sambar, curd, buttermilk, etc. You might have noticed that the taste of different food items is different. For example, the taste of boiled rice is different from that of zira rice and pulao and also the taste of chapati is different from puri. This is because these are cooked differently. For example, rice is boiled but idli is not prepared in the same manner. For preparing idli, rice and dal flours are fermented and then steam cooked, while the chicken is cooked by roasting it. Children, do you know what is food preservation and how to preserve the food? No, sir. Discussion about food is incomplete unless we talk about preservation of food. Let me explain to you. Food preservation is a process in which the food, vegetables and fruits are protected from getting spoiled. There will not be any change in the color, taste a nutritive value of food when it is preserved. If preserved, the food products last for a longer period of time. Sir, why should we preserve the food? Good question. I will explain you. Before explaining, can you say how rice is stored in your home? Why does curry get spoiled when placed outside for a couple of days and pickle stays for a long time. No, sir. Okay, let me explain to you in brief. The pickle stays for a longer time because of preservation. If we are able to preserve foods, then we can enjoy all kinds of foods in any season. For example, mango juice, mango pulp, mango pickle, and raw mango powder can be available in any seasons if preserved. For preserving certain food items, they are salted and dried. Example, dried fish is most commonly used. Vegetables 
and meat are also dried and pickled. While preparing pickles, salt and turmeric powder are used for preservation. In coastal areas, we commonly observe that fish are being smoked for preservation. Fruits are generally preserved in sugar syrup or honey. Jams and fruit juices are good examples of preservation with sugar. To preserve food, there are different types of preservative techniques. But some food items which are available in the market have harmful preservatives. So, when you purchase any food item in the market, read about its ingredients and the date of manufacturing which is mentioned on the packed item. Because eating outdated food damages your health. Drag and drop the respective parts of the plant that we eat onto the given table. Explanation Generally, we use different parts of the plants for our food. Of these leaves, roots, seeds, and fruits are most widely used when compared to stems and flowers. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Match the following. Select suitable answer from Group B for Group A and drop it in bracket provided against A. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow up work. Take up the following activities. Every day, we eat different types of food items from morning to night. Discuss with your friends and collect the information about what food they had eaten yesterday. Record the information in the given table. List out some of the food items you like to eat and try to find out what materials are used to prepare them? What is your favorite cooked food? Find out how it is prepared. Write down the recipe in your notebook. Mention the ingredients that help to preserve vegetables. Discuss with your friends and identify examples of different preservatives given in the table. Make a list of animals and insects from which we get food. List the animals which give us milk, meat and egg. 
List the animals which give us meat and egg. List the animals which give us milk and egg. List the animals which give us milk and meat. Try to design your own vegetable carving. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test.